Hey, this is Art Alerts. I'm David. I'm Mike. And we're here to open a bronze today. Uh, Mike and I produce a bronze together uh, using a foundry in Utah. Um, I make bronzes all the time. I worked with um, Austin Taylor, uh, Kristen Lu Wong, Luke Pelletier, Albert Reyes, and we have a few more bronze in the works right now. Uh, this is the first opening from this round, and Mike's in town, so I was like, I have to bring him out, and we gotta do the unboxing together. Yes. So this is super exciting. You want to do the honors? Oh my God. Yes, I feel I like you to. should. <laughs> Normally I get to open it, but it's fun to get oh to watch God, this time. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I am super excited to see this. I was extremely jazzed when David asked me to work together on it. And I cannot wait to see what they made for us. This is my first work in bronze. And there's a chance, I think, I have one, you have one, and then there's two more. Two more. So if someone's looking for one, let us know, right? Let us know. <laughs> Hyper limited edition. Cool. Let's see what we got. Some good packing. Here they are. Why don't we each take one? This oh, will be fun. Yes. You grab one, I'll grab one. Good. And then we'll set these over here. Ooh, baby, they got a nice weight to them. Yeah. like Christmas. <laughs> yeah, we started working on this in a, like around May. So it's yeah. almost like a four or five month process. So you gotta be patient, but the ending product is so worth it. Yeah, cannot wait to see. It's so nice, I like forgot all about it and then you called me up and I was like, oh, hell yeah. These babies are packed. Ooh, mama. <laughs> oh, Hell yeah, dude. With the oh. sig signature on the back. Yeah. There it is. So yeah, here's the signature. We'll kind of show that guy off. Yeah, just polished, dude. It looks so oh, good. Oh, wow. Amazing, dude. So tell me a little bit about how you came up with this sculpture. Okay, sure. So this is sort of a play off another work I made called Gluten Terror, which was a little pretzel kind of embedded into like a baphomet. Um, I don't know, I worked in food service for like eight years and uh, it was just like very hyper aware of like all these like dietary trends and stuff like that. And a lot of my other work kind of deals with like consumerism and like marketing and how things are sold to us in the form of desire. And just sort of like, I don't know, kind of playing with all those ideas with like the sort of religiosity associated with that. And also I just thought a pretzel Cross would be fun to make, so. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. So cool. Um, what else have you been working on recently? Um, well, I've been working on, I've been kind of trying to go back to some paintings. I was just telling you, I've been working on some fiberglass paintings, um, just like this weird chemical process of melting uh, extruded polystyrene with fiberglass resin. It's been sort of a chemistry set, the studio lately, so I don't know, just like very textured, detailed stuff. It feels fun and exciting to make, but. Yeah, we'll see what, what happens. Dope, dope. Do you have any shows or anything like that coming up? Um, I'm working with the Torrance Art Museum on like a big sculpture event that'll be, I think, October. I think oh, there'll cool. be like 50 sculptors, maybe more. And that'll be a fun thing. Other than that, I'm kind of just like trying to figure some stuff out in the studio and like, cool. yeah, figure things out. Are you out. still curating shows out of the uh, front room of the framer? Yeah, so I've been working with a space called Curved Line Space in Cypress Park in LA. Um, my friend Tom Wixo and I have been doing back and forth programming with them. Um, and I invited a guest curator, my friend Connor Marley, to curate the next show. And then um, I think the next one I'll be taking on will be in February or something. So stay tuned. Some, I'm trying to think of something fun and exciting for art fair time. He's okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the bronzer had sent us the original too. So this is what it looks like on the bottom. And tell me how you made this. Well, these are just rolled gold mini pretzels hot glued together. So uh, very uh, 
excited that they arrived in one piece for the casting and not surprised to see that they were damaged on the way back. Yeah, and some of the times I'll, I'll buy the original from the artist to display next to the bronze, but I think in this case it's not going to work. <laughs> Maybe you'll have to make me another. An ephemeral um, quality, yeah, man. Yeah, so, so cool. So it's literally just pretzels hot glued together, amazing, and then coated. For some reason, you had sent me pictures of it, and I had assumed that it was um, like some sort of resin or 3D printed thing oh, because yeah. of the gray. You had painted over all of it. Yeah, um, I tried. I did a rough seal of polyurethane and resin to try to keep it a little more structurally intact. Yeah, uh, makes sense, so. makes sense. But cool, alive. well it survived enough for the bronze, which is great. Yeah. Someone wants to be a part of the video. Okay, come up here, come up here, come up here, say hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the sculpture matches her. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Cool, is there anything else you want to shout out or? Um, shout out to Arts Alerts and David for coming <laughs> oh, at me with you. this first uh, thank you. bronze opportunity. Yeah, and if anyone else is interested in making a bronze, I do this deal where I'll pay for the mold and two firings, and then you get to keep one, I get to keep one, um, and it's a fun way to sort of put new art into the world. I always joke that bronzes are super cool because even if the house burnt down, you could come <laughs> pick them out of the rubbage it's and still have some of your art collection. Oh my so, God, I'm very um, excited about yeah, that. Yeah, very, very cool. Well, thank you so much for being here, dude. Yeah, man, this thanks was so much. wonderful. I'm excited to keep making stuff like this with you. So we'll have to come up with another idea next. Amen. And Hayes too, come here. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, thank you.